Pantographs have hard lives. They are constantly subjected to shocks and stresses, as well as frictional wear of the carbon strips. A damaged, defective or badly worn pantograph head can cause a great deal more trouble than simply disabling a train. Such defects can result in severe damage to the overhead line equipment, resulting in widespread disruption to the service and an expensive repair bill. Our train drivers can play a vital part in minimising these risks. In this short film we shall take a look at the most common pantograph defects so that they can easily be recognised. We shall also look at the procedure for isolating a defective pantograph on electric multiple units of classes 302 to 312. Let's begin by looking at the main parts of a pantograph. The pantograph head has three rows of carbon strips. These carbon strips actually make contact with the overhead line. The pantograph head is bonded to the frame by four copper braids, two at each end. Behind the pantograph itself is the air blast breaker with swinging arm contact. And just ahead of this is the air motor for raising the pantograph. The carbon strips on the pantograph head are fitted in sections and a common defect is the displacement of one of these carbon sections. If part of a carbon strip is missing, Damage to both the pantograph and overhead line equipment is inevitable. Look out for severe grooving as this will cause a breakup of the carbon strip. Check that none of the copper braids has become unfastened and is hanging down. This will cause arcing and result in damage. The pantograph head is secured to the frame by pins and cotters. Check that these are not displaced or missing, otherwise the pantograph head may become detached. Make these visual checks from ground or platform level, not only when preparing your train, but when changing ends in service. Your vigilance could save a great deal of expense and disruption. If you do discover a defective pantograph, here's what you do. Return to the cab from which you have been driving and put your master key on. Move the master switch to forward or reverse and depress the pantograph down button. This will lower all pantographs if you have units in multiple. The line light will now go out. Check that the air blast breaker light illuminates. Secure the train then make your way to the brake compartment below the defective pantograph, visually checking that all pantographs are now lowered. In this compartment you will find the pantograph isolating cock and the air blast breaker isolating cock. Begin by opening the sealing hatch and closing the pantograph isolating cock. This cuts air to the pantograph air motor and vents the air already in that system. Reclose the hatch. Notice that the isolating cock handle is now sticking down. Now open the adjacent cubicle and turn the air blast breaker isolating cock so the handle points towards you. Now reclose the cubicle and return to the driving cab.
Open the low tension cupboard and open the train line key switch removing the key and placing it in the tray. As there is no power on this unit, it will now be necessary to close the train line key switch on the unit which does not have a defective pantograph. Turn the train line key switch here to the on position, put your master key on in the cab, select forward or reverse on the master switch and press the pantograph up button. All pantographs except the defective one should now raise and the line light will illuminate. The air blast breaker light will remain on however. Since of course you have isolated the air blast breaker on the defective pantograph. Finally do not forget to release the handbrakes. With units in multiple, you may now proceed, remembering that the defective unit is without power. Don't forget to take out the control cutout switch on this unit and to book the defect. If you have a single unit only, assistance will be required. The procedure we have just looked at applies to AC electric multiple units of classes 302 to 312 inclusive. In this film you have seen fitting staff at roof level repairing pantographs. The overhead line is isolated and earthed. However, train crew are not permitted above cab floor level under any circumstances. The overhead line is lethal and must be considered live at all times.